Hey there, welcome to Consult the Guy. My name is Andrew, and I'm here to help you build your brand, grow your audience, market your content, and make money. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon so you can stay updated on the latest videos, live streams, and more. If you're a member of the consulting crew, welcome back. In today's episode, I'm going to give you five simple jobs that you can do at home to make some extra cash. Let's get to it. As I said, welcome to Consult the Blind Guy. My name is Andrew, and I've got five simple jobs you can do from the comfort of your home to make some extra cash. Number one is being a transcriptionist. Transcribing is a fairly simple and easy job you can do from the comfort of your home and on your computer and online as well. If you're able to type fairly quickly, it's pretty simple. There's also software out there that will make this even easier, like Descript. It's a system that I use myself more recently to help me do some transcriptions to make things easier. It is a paid service. You get your first three hours of transcribing for free and transcribing consists of typing out the audio of a video or maybe an mp3 for a podcast or something to that effect of a, a presentation or something it can also be used for the subtitles on videos like this one instead of relying on the YouTube automated system for the subtitles, you can actually go through and do it yourself or have the software do it for you and then make the edits as needed. And you can make a fairly decent amount of money doing transcriptions, whether you do it as a personal service for clients or whether you do it for freelancing or for a virtual assistant type job for an employer you can set the rate at which you make your money for transcribing some people on Fiverr, I have noticed, charge anywhere from $20 up to $1,000, depending on the amount of transcribing needed to be done and the length of the audio or video file. Another option is working for a call center. Surprisingly, there's quite a bit of places that actually do have call centers that need employees and as long as you have a phone and a computer you can be a member of a call center take information for a support team or customer service and be able to assist clients with troubleshooting a software or a service you can also make calls on behalf of that company depending on what it is that they need you to do. A lot of the companies this past year in 2020 have relied heavily on virtual call centers and that's how they've been able to get through with the whole situation that we're all in right now. Instead of having a call center building filled with 40, 50 people, now they're all at home and running from their phones and computers on a secured network in order to process calls. Another option you have is teaching a language. Teaching a language, if English is your primary, there is a great need for this, primarily with Asian countries. There is a website called italki, I-T-A-L-K-I that 
has been highly recommended by quite a few people as being a great source for teaching English. But if you have another language, this is another benefit for you to be able to teach your language that you have as a secondary possibility of income. There are people that are making 20 or more dollars an hour for teaching a second language. Another option is to test and review websites. This is a great service. This is something that I do myself. And it consists of going through and making sure that when you click on links that they actually work and go to the places they're supposed to and making sure accessibility features work, color schemes are good, pictures are lined up and formatted good and making it easier for the audience that is going to be visiting that site. This gives the website owner the feedback that they need to know what needs improvement and if everything's working properly and going to the areas that they need it to. You can also be paid $10 for a 20-minute task by doing a website test or review. Myself, I would go a little bit higher than that. I actually, myself, depending on what is needed, charge considerably more because I actually go through and check absolutely everything when it comes to testing and reviewing websites. It's one of the services that is slightly on the higher side for what I offer because I do go through and thoroughly check everything for layout functionality and accessibility and give my recommendations. Another option is to sell vegetables or flowers or plants out of your garden. A lot of people go to farmers markets but you can actually do this right at your home. That way you don't have to worry about extra transportation or vendors fees or anything like that depending on your area and the requirements and guidelines for farmers markets and things like that. If you have a garden with vegetables, you've got a lot that is growing and may not be used by you, in which case you can sit on the side of your house or by the curb and be able to sell the access and make a few bucks back instead of it going to waste. I hope you found today's video helpful and informative. Please give a like if you enjoyed today's video and got some value out of it. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think of these options. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can stay updated on the latest videos, live streams, and more. Don't forget to check out this video over here because it's got another list of more ways for you to be able to make money. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.